My name is Megan. I'm 24 years old, and I am currently sitting in the Carson City Jail. Megan's addicted to heroin. My sister loves shooting up. That's all she knows, basically. She uses very heavily every day. Megan's in jail for stealing. She steals to get heroin. She's stolen money from me, my wife. Her biggest offense was against me. She stole a lot of jewelry, my wedding ring, my husband's great aunt's ring, and a solid gold watch. <laughs> Megan was beautiful when she was born. She was very sweet. Scream. She could scream. She had a set of lungs. Growing up, we didn't really get to see my dad very often, but my mom was involved in everything. She was a rock. She was the one that kept everything together. I loved being a mom, but I did everything alone. And it was frustrating that Ken was never there. So I didn't want to do it anymore. And I packed up the RV and I left. Debbie had told me the kids were getting really sassy. They weren't listening to her and that she didn't like being a mom anymore. I was shocked. When you have kids, you don't do that. In a lot of people's eyes, I love the kids. But it comes to a point where you have to live your own life. I mean, you, you have to live life. When my mom left, I hated her. I know she left because she wasn't happy with my dad, but I don't know why she had to leave us. I don't understand that. My Aunt Janet is amazing. Uh, she, ra she helped raise us as little kids. She's kind of like a second mom to us, basically. She's a wonderful lady. She's always seen the best in me and the best that I can be. She was a sweet little girl. She really has a desire to do well, to please people. And those are the things that I love about her. I've always been like the life of the party or um, like the class clown I used to get all the time. <laughs> used to come out to the house, and we'd hang out, and we had a lot of fun together. I got so happy to have her back. And she fell in love. She loved this guy, you know? Megan thought mom's boyfriend was the coolest guy ever. He made her feel like she was worth something. And I mean, he did that with me, too. I started noticing like, they'd be playing in the pool, and her hands would be around his neck. And I mean, I would find myself thinking, this is my boyfriend. What, you know, what are you doing, and why are you spending so much time with him? He just became very flirty towards me. And one day, ended up having sex with me. It's horrible continued for four or five months. When I told my mom, I wanted her to tell me it was going to be OK and that this isn't what's supposed to happen, but she blamed me, said it was my fault. I did blame her. She dressed really promiscuous around him. It wasn't her fault. What kind of man sleeps with a 15-year-old girl? There were never charges brought against Debbie's boyfriend, either. None. I didn't do anything. I thought Debbie was going to take care of it. I think Megan wanted revenge because I left their dad. And I found happiness, and she wanted to ruin my happiness. 
did a good job. I didn't want to lose him. And if I still wanted to have a relationship with him, I would have to have a relationship with him somewhere else. That was literally the dumbest decision my mom ever made in her life. I mean, how are you seriously going to leave with some guy that had done that to your daughter? That, to me, is completely wrong. When she left, it made me feel ugly and unwanted and not right at all. Megan would get caught for truancy. The vice principal and I were on the phone, it seemed like on a daily basis. I had her arrested for being incorrigible. Ken loves to pass the buck for Megan. Even when she was a kid, he, I don't think Ken has ever stepped up and helped her in any way. At that point, Megan felt abandoned by both of them. It was like a double slap in the face to Megan. I know I have messed up your life in a lot of ways, and I plead for your forgiveness. What happened in the past is forgiven. What I would love to have in my life is a healthy, happy Megan. I pray to God that you will accept this opportunity to take the opportunity and to run all the way to a happy you. Megan, I ask your forgiveness. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you in dealing with, with him. I'm sorry for leaving you and deserting you. And I'm sorry he ever entered our lives. I take responsibility for our estranged relationship. I hope you forgive me. Without treatment, I don't think we'll get a chance to do this. Please, Megan, go to treatment today. Yeah, I'll go. OK. I'm so happy for you. I've been sober for 118 days. I feel great. I feel um, accomplished and like looking into the future more, so. I've done a lot of work about my mom. I've been pissed off at her for 10 years and I've learned you can't do anything to change her or change the relationship that we have, so. I've forgiven her. I don't think she's forgiven herself. <laughs> the change with my father has been absolutely amazing. <laughs> we talk four to five times a week. Very nice, that's okay. It's just an awesome feeling to have the support that I've always looked for. Things swell, you know. 